that brings us to the Friday night rival CW21 game of the week. Huge playoff implications out of Class A with these two teams. Lakeview, perfect so far along with Lamar. Latta, one loss, but they also have a win. Tonight would be crucial in terms of how this region would play out. Let's head up to Latta. Last year, Lakeview got the better of the Vikings, and early on, Lakeview would do the same. Ty Foxworth down the sidelines, finds the end zone. First quarter, Lakeview strikes first as they take the early 7-0 lead. It's 7-3 in the second when Kaysen Herlong finds his tight end, LeVette. That would put Lakeview up 14-3 at the half. Third quarter, whatever Brandon Eisman said to his football team, they came alive. Jamarion Jones hits the end zone, cuts the Lakeview lead to 14-9. Late fourth quarter, LeBron Cobb threads the needle. McKinley Wallace in for the touchdown, and that right there would end up proving to be the game winner. Vikings get it done tonight. 17-14, handing Lakeview their first region setback of the season, second loss of the season. Vikings feeling good going into a bye. They've got one game left in region against Green Sea Floyds in a couple of weeks. As for Lakeview, they have Lamar coming in next week. We're going to talk about the Silver Foxes in just a few minutes, but sitting as it is now, Lamar has a chance to win the out-white region championship when they take on Lakeview next week. The Wild Gators can mess it all up and make it a three-way battle between Latta, Lakeview, and Lamar when it's all said and done. Buckle up, my friends. This one is going to be interesting. As for the HTC Game Ball winner, it goes to Slayton Strickland out of Latta High School who had an outstanding game tonight for the Vikings. Congratulations to Slayton. Congratulations to Brandon Eisman and the Vikings for a huge win over one of the best programs in the state of South Carolina.